What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo. And here lately, I've been highlighting the buffs that these new characters are going to be giving to all our old characters to make them a whole lot stronger. I showed you guys with Kula, showed you guys with Yori, but I haven't showed you with a character that's much older than the two other characters that I just mentioned, which is Rugal, a character that showed up in this game about eight months ago. And the best score I was ever able to achieve with this character was about 230 billion in guild rate. Now, to be fully transparent and honest with you guys, and many of you already know this, it really doesn't matter getting these crazy scores in guild raid because, well, you only need 1.25 billion to get the maximum rewards out of it. It's definitely something that Netmarble needs to address one way or another, but I digress. I really don't want to get into that because I've talked about that in many videos. But the thing that really does get highlighted here is that, you know, an old character can become stronger. So if you're playing them in a different game mode and you're using characters that can buff them, it's really going to jump up their damage. Now, Rugal by no means is strong compared to the characters we have these days he just isn't but considering the fact that i was only able to get about two well i say only 230 billion with the exact same card set that i'm going to be using except for one other card that i did change and this is something else i want to highlight in here because i've been using this card and i haven't really brought it up too much but it's actually pretty freaking op and that is the new option card that we got during this event this thing is ridiculous like, the increased blast skill damage by 30% is awesome, plus the increased attack. But you guys can see I do have it transcended, and I did get extra increased attack fighter critical damage by 10.6%. And since my man Rugal does blast skills on his third skill, right? This is, well, actually, his first skill, too. On his third skill, that is just OP. This is where he does his concentrating. He just repeatedly blasts the living hell out of his opponent so that's pretty damn awesome right he doesn't have a strike skill and a second skill but really his first skill and his third skill are going to be the main money makers and they're both blast skills and i'm using the athena set and like i said earlier whenever i got that 230 billion it was with this set and it was with this option card i did use a different option card in the past but you'll find this increased blast skill damage is actually really really op for this character if you are trying to buff him up or another character that has blast skill damage like kula what like what i did in the previous video and all these are transcended for attack type fighters they all have transcendent stats to buff up attack type fighters and i did try some other sets and there was another set that was actually very competitive against the athena set and that was a set that we got during the leona banner they actually proved to be quite powerful on rugal at least given in a certain situation that i have him in on this team so this set actually does work on him and i'm going to explain why this actually works in another video but you guys can see it does work on attack type fighters you would get this critical away by 12 percent. you're not going to increase your burn but this is a thing we'll have to talk about in another video why it is not going with man ex rugal against the guild raid rugal right this is really going to be the reason why but against nightmare geese it's actually going to work out a whole lot better as i will explain during the run that i'm going to show you but for now guys against guild raid rugal the athena set still proves to be the best it still edges out all the other sets on rugal himself now the team that i'm often to go for is i'm using his leadership because you know again pi and uh shizuru's leaderships don't buff him up at all he gets his critical rate by 10 percent then he expires by 50 percent attack right and pi of course we're just using her for all of her buffs blah 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 the you know we have the nightmare geese set on her or city of darkness set that increases uh target tar target damage received by 10 percent and then we also have the whole, you know, increase uh, green element fighter by 300%. And this is really, really OP on top of the increased target damage received and all the other th little things that Pi offers, decreased defenses. And then, of course, you know, uh, Shizuru buffing up those blast skills from her second skill, right? I mean, just really OP buffs. I mean, considering that this is higher than any EX core that increases blast skill damage, it's pretty astronomical for this character. I really can't stress enough how good it is to have these supports and how awesome it is because now you you know you can really make your old characters i mean this is an eight month old character shine so let's run through the run guys and i'll talk about why i'm using certain strikers and so on so whenever i start with rugal because his first skill can reset over and over and over i actually go ahead and switch to shizuru right now run through shizuru run through her skills and i won't bring in my striker notice i'm using a poison striker i'm using bison now you can use on hell you can use Zhang Fei, either of them off for poison damage as well. That works really well here. Now I'm going to apply the poison, right? The reason for that is because Shizuru does a lot of hits. And I try to break that meter down, right? Now, then I bring in Pi, do her, her third, second, and her third, first skill twice to get all the buffs. 
But Rugal, something that's really awesome about him is even though there was a lot of that meter there still available, Rugal's first skill breaks meters very, very fast. So you actually can, while there's a little bit of poison or bleed damage applied, you know, just one of the dots, you can still break the meter very, very fast with Rugal, which is nice. But against Nightmare Geese, it's going to be a whole lot better with this team because I will have Pai Chen. She's actually going to break the meter pretty much on target every time to where right when I bring in Rugal, Geese will be stunned and you'll be able to do a lot more damage during that in that motion, right? Whereas here, I got I to gotta play with it a little bit and I got to break that meter down with Rugal when I drop him in. So we're actually losing a little bit of damage. Like right now, whenever Rugal's hunched over like that or Nightmare Geese is hunched over, you're going to be able to do a lot more damage while all, of your, while all of your buffs are applied, right? So in this realm, we're not actually going to do as much damage as what we're capable of, say, against Nightmare Geese. And against Nightmare Geese, I do believe there's going to be another set that is actually going to be more OP on Rugal because the set that we got from the Leona banner, it will actually increase attack and it actually will stack whenever you're landing on a burn target. Well... I always use Kusanagi before I switch to my main damage dealer. Kusanagi deals burn damage. So you actually will get those buffs, you know, especially with you know all the other buffs for an attack type fighter from that set. And against Nightmare Geese, the thing is, because Pai Chen can actually break that meter pretty fast, and then I can switch to Suzuru, bring in Kusanagi right at the last minute. Well, then Rugal is going to get almost the entire duration of Kusanagi's burn which means that attack will stack up and hopefully Rugal will do more damage. I'm definitely going to be testing this whenever Nightmare Geese shows up. But against, you know, e, uh, Guild Raid Rugal, it just, the Athena set just proves to be better. It just proves to be more consistent as far as damage. And guys, look at the score that I'm putting up. Now, I know this isn't, you know, some astronomical numbers uh, compared to the runs that I've shown you in the past. But this is an eight-month-old character, and one, it just shows you the level of power creep and every update that we get, right? It's just ridiculous. But also, it just shows you how much these buffs are really adding. My Rugal with the same build, as I mentioned earlier in the video, was able to hit 230 billion, right? The only thing I've changed is that option card and changed my supports. Now, I am using the poly version of Rugal as a striker, the reason for that is because he gives an increased attack to all team members by 15%, buffing up the main damage dealer as well as the other team members is also. But the thing about uh, Polly Rugal is he will put down a certain dot. Now, you don't know what dot it's going to be, which makes him very inconsistent, and which also means you can't rely on him to apply the right dot. Whenever you're doing these kinds of things, you really need to have you know either a bleed or a poison striker in here. If you're using this particular team for... Uh, Shizuru. Now, Shizuru, the reason that she's really great here is because her Starlight, even though it isn't the relevant dot here, it can help break that meter down a little bit, especially with her third skill. That thing does a lot, a lot of hits. So the reason that I have my Bison, or maybe you could have a Bleeding Striker on her, like AG or Hydern, wh whatever Striker you have that's applying Poison or Bleed, you can put it on uh, Shizuru against Rugal, especially if you don't have a damage dealer that has the relevant dot. So if you do that, you know, you start off with Shizuru, you do her 3PG, and then after her 3PG, you bring in your Poison or Bleeding Striker, and you start doing your third skill and her first and second skill. And then you can switch to Pi, and if you're using a character like Rugal or, say, another character that can does a lot of hits and can break a meter pretty fast, then this will work out for you. It's not going to work out with every team. It really depends on your who you're playing with, right? Like, with this team setup, you really do need a damage dealer that, you know, if he doesn't have the relevant dot or she doesn't have the relevant dot, they can actually do a lot of hits to break that meter down, right? And that's kind of the thing about Rugal. He does do a lot of damn hits with that first skill because that laser beam, when it hits, it's doing continuous hits as it's rising up and hitting the opponent. And it just melts, you know, and it's awesome. And it's also just really great just to play with my favorite character and get much higher damage numbers. I was really hoping for 1 trillion, in all honesty, guys, I'm not going to lie. But still, to be able to go from 230 billion to almost 600 billion right now is pretty damn bonkers, right? That's pretty damn bonkers. And if and whenever I bring in Polly Rugal, if he would apply the correct dot that I actually need here, 
We could break the meter even faster and do even more damage, my friends. We could do even more damage. And that's why I really believe against Nightmare Geese that I'm going to be able to do quite a bit more. I'm hoping that maybe with Brugal, maybe, maybe I can hit 850, 900 billion. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. But uh, I do believe there's going to be a big difference, especially if I use that set from the Leona banner. We'll, we'll have to wait and see how that's going to work out. That is something I do want to test. But I did test the set in here against uh, Gilred Rugal, and it was all it almost did as much damage as the Athena set. Both fully transcended. So, yeah, I might, I might make a video about that, showing that later on if you guys want to see that. But as you guys can see, you know, we were able to hit 770 billion. We went from 230 billion, okay, 230 billion, and I did that 230 billion run, uh, I think it was a, probably about five months ago, something like that, even though Rugal came into the game about eight months ago. I think it was about five months ago I did the 230 billion run, and we have went all the way up to 774 billion. That is a huge, huge uptake in damage, and why, again, these girls are so good like man when you have green and red and yellow fighters especially for pie and then you have blast goes on top of it i mean these two are just going to be the op supports for this guy and if i had both of these girls at a5 my damage would have went up even more because both of them have increased the blast skills when they are at a5 so it's really awesome to see my man rugal getting it done doing some pretty good damage very very happy with it it's not as much what i like it to be but the other thing to keep in mind is that whenever like rugal gets buff and i say whenever because it will happen guys they gave keo a buff they gave shermie a buff they're going to buff these old ex characters and whenever they buff this guy it's going to be interesting to see with this team what he's actually going to be able to do. So, guys, let me know what you think about Rugal getting over or getting almost 800 billion points. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. TW7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.